In this short video, I'm going to show how to straighten up a wobbly wall. So if you look at the cylinder that I have here on the wheel, <coughs> it's not too pretty. It's got a lot of grooves and it's got some uh, irregularities, off-centeredness, and actually I'm going to whack it a little more. So now it's really bad. The way to straighten it up, or the way I'm going to demonstrate straightening it up, is to use a wooden rib. And so I prefer to use the wooden rib for this as opposed to a metal rib or anything else because the wooden rib is rigid, so it, the clay needs to conform around the straight edge of the wooden rib. And wood is great because it doesn't really stick to the clay. If you use metal ribs, they can work great too for lots of things, but for general uh, straightening up and shaping, I prefer to use a wooden rib. And the, the way that the rib is designed is that it has a real straight edge on one side and a curved edge on the other. And the hole that's in the middle, it's the best place to grip. So if you put your thumb on one side and I use my middle finger in the middle or sometimes my index finger, that gives you a good stable grip. And I like to do it with the pointy side down because sometimes I'll press downward and cut off a little extra clay that may be at the bottom. So that's how I like to do it. Before I actually demonstrate it on the wheel and straighten this up, I'm gonna talk about position. So my elbows are in, I'm gonna apply some pressure with this tool, I'm gonna hold steady, and when I'm done, I'm gonna ease off just like everything else I do on the wheel. And I'm gonna work in the same zone that you would pull up the wall. So for me, that's about four o'clock. Three o'clock is getting a little bit dangerous because if you try to work up here, the tool will catch, definitely. So come back past three o'clock a little bit. And the other thing that's really important is the angle that you hold the tool. So you don't wanna push the tool straight into the wall. You wanna angle it like that so that the clay is leading into the tool so it doesn't catch the edge. So that's where the tool is gonna to be right there about four o'clock with a little bit of a back angle to it with the point facing down. I'm gonna get my left hand <laughs> wet and put it on the inside. So just like pulling up the wall, the left hand goes on the inside of the clay. But instead of fingertips on the outside, I'm gonna use the wooden rip. I'm gonna start at the bottom where it's wide and with my inside fingers, I'm pushing towards the rib. I'm holding the rib really stable. And then once I feel like I have a good position, I'll bring both hands up together. And then when I get to the top, I'll ease off and let's see how it looks. So it's better, but it's not truly straight yet. So you may need a few passes. There are a few variations that you can do here. What I just demonstrated was to start at the bottom with some pressure, lock in, and pull both hands up together. If your cylinder's not all that tall, you may be able to do something where you don't move your outside hand at all. Your rib can stay really stable here, and you can press into the rib with your inside hand and work your way up. I generally don't do it that way, but I've seen other people do it like this, and it tends to work. So that's one way to do it. And then a third way to do it, especially after you got the big lumps out, is to not put your hand on the inside. You can take two hands and hold the rib on the outside and hold it in the same position there. And as long as you're holding real stable, you can apply some pressure just from the outside. This will tend to push the clay inward a little bit, so you might end up um, with the narrower shape, especially towards the top, which is not a bad thing a lot of times because we often want that cone shape. And then I'm gonna ease off. So now the lumps and irregularities, and it even helped me center it because I had whacked it totally off center. So if it's really bad, I suggest starting with pressure on both sides and do a few passes and then for a final cleanup, press on the outside and hold it really stable. Thank you.